morning, everybody. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading Samira's Eid by Nasreen Akhtar and illustrated by Anna Boratard. It was during Ramadan when everybody was fasting that the children were busy making cards. This one's for a nanny in the hospital, said Samira, closing the envelope. Will she get better? asked Hassan. Yes, but Eid won't be the same without her. Just then, Mom walked in. Remember, you're fasting tomorrow, she said. Will it hurt? asked Hassan. No, but you will feel tired, so go to sleep quickly now, answered Mum. The next morning, before sunrise, Samira and Hassan had their breakfast. Eat up! It's a long time till dinner, Mum reminded them. But by lunchtime, Hassan couldn't stop himself complaining. I'm so hungry! I want a samosa! I'm hungry too, but think of all the people who are fasting just like us, said Samira. And think of all the people who can only have one meal a day, said Mum, putting her arm around Hassan. I wouldn't like that, said Hassan. Well, they don't like it either, said Samira. That's why we give zakat. At last, it was time for dinner, and Mum had prepared their favorite food. Dad, we did it! We fasted just like you, said Samira. I knew you could do it, said Dad, smiling. How did you feel? Hungry, they groaned. The night before Eid, the radio announced the sighting of the new moon. Quickly, Samir ran to Hassan's room to tell him the news. The new moon had just been seen, she said. Where? asked Hassan, dashing to the window. In Mecca, of course, not here. Very early, while everyone was still asleep, Samira and Hassan gazed at the new moon, so thin and pale in the morning sky. Look, Hassan, there it is, whispered Samira. Eid Mubarak, Samira, said Hassan. Back in her room, Samira saw her new clothes lying on the bed. Gently, she lifted the shalwar kameez that her mum had made and held it up. It is really Eid, she thought. When everyone was ready, the family left for the mosque. Eid Mubarak, they called out to their friends on the way. Inside the mosque, they prayed and listened to the imam. Outside, there were lots of people smiling and hugging each other. Suddenly, Samira saw her teacher. Look, Hassan, it's Mrs. Qadr coming over here. Eid Mubarak, Samira and Hassan, said Mrs. Qadr, placing a small present in their hands. Thank you, they said. But how did you know that we'd be here? Teachers know these things, replied Mrs. Qadr, smiling. When they arrived home, they found a pile of Eid cards waiting to be opened. Here's one from Auntie Yasmin, and this is one from Uncle Iqbal, said Samira. But where is Nani's card? Maybe it will come in the second post. Now hurry up and help me get these dishes onto the table, said Mum. Look at all that food, gasped me, Samira. What a feast. The doorbell rang again and again as aunts and uncles Friends and neighbors arrived. There was hugging and kissing, laughter and presents. Samira and Hassan could hardly believe their eyes. Come and sit down, everyone. The food is ready, announced Dad. Samira, come and sit here, said Dad. But this chair is empty, said Samira, pointing to the chair next to her. Not for long, said a familiar voice. Eagle bark, everyone, said Nani, smiling. Samira... I just couldn't trust that hospital to get the card to you on time. So what could I do but bring it myself? Samira laughed. But how did you get here? That is a long story. But first, a little something for you and Hassan, said Nani. When Samira and Hassan opened their present, they found a book inside. But this was no ordinary book, and the smiles on their faces made everybody laugh. By the end of the day, a happy Samira had curled up on the sofa next to Nani. Nanny, tell us your story now, asked Hassan. Well, it was during Ramadan when everybody was fasting that the children were. The end. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye.